me ask you to take a quick little quiz consisting of just two questions. See if you can answer them correctly. First, let's go to the first one. What is the best financial product to invest in when regarding retirement planning? Is it A, pork belly futures, B, growth mutual funds, C, annuities, D, gold, or E, it all depends. Now take a minute, think about it before you quickly answer. And if you answered E, it all depends, you are correct. Now the second question is as follows. What is the only financial product that can guarantee an income you can never outlive? Again, is it A, pork belly futures, B, growth mutual funds, C, annuities, D, gold, or E, it all depends. Again, take a minute. Don't, yep, wait a minute, make sure. Well, guess what? The answer is actually C, annuities, which to some of you might really surprise you. That's because the name given to the only product that you can never outlive, which is annuities, has been maligned by many in the financial world who do not sell them, nor quite frankly know anything about retirement planning. But just because somebody doesn't sell something nor understand the proper use of a product doesn't mean they should avoid it at all costs. Well, let's hope they don't. But since you might have heard a negative information about these annuities, what I'm gonna to try to do is play a little trick on you right now. We're gonna change the name of annuities to that of mailbox money. So what does this change in name do to your perception and understanding of annuities? Does the thought of mailbox money, that is having this guaranteed lifetime income kind of put a smile on your face? Well, it should, and if it does, I just described to you the only tool that can provide mailbox money for the rest of your life, and that is an annuity. So if you're one of those savers who has worried about the future performance of all that money you have at risk in the stock market, or you're a saver who is frustrated with interest rates at the bank that are paying next to nothing, let me show you how annuities, if used properly, can be just the ticket for you in a worry-free retirement. And I've done something kind of interesting here. Of course, the title of our little segment is Mailbox Money. And as you'll notice, I've picked two totally different individuals. In the first example, I have someone who is age 60. And in the second example, we're using someone who is age 80. And you might say, well, Tony, 60 and 80, can both of those type of people, those age groups, purchase annuities? And the answer is absolutely, if it's the right type of annuity. So let's start with a person that's age 60, their marital status, they're married, they own a, they own a home, but they owe $150,000 on that home. They own a couple of cars, one of the cars they owe $25,000. They have uh, adult children, but one of them is still in college. And they're spending quite a bit of money, they're at half time, so they're spending about $6,500 a month. And when asked about when they're gonna take his and her social securities, they don't know, they don't really understand social security, and they have no clue in retirement what their future expenses are gonna be. So they have this 401k, they're over 59 and a half. They've talked to me, they're talking about rolling this over to something that we could offer, possibly our split IRA concept with Charles Schwab on the front end and our beloved mailbox money on the back end. Certainly we could work with this couple and show them how to use the annuity, but in their case, the annuity, the mailbox money, it's called deferred, okay? So they don't need the mailbox money right now, but we want that account to start growing at a guaranteed rate so that in the future, at some deferred age, could be 65, 70, whatever they wanna do, then we would pour out to them at that point, let's just say it's age 70, mailbox money, okay? For life. Well, now let's slide over to the 80-year-old. A little different here. Now in this example, this 80 year old has an IRA. It was rolled over from her deceased husband's 401k. Obviously she's a widow. Her home and car are paid for. So again, no monthly payments there to worry about. Children are grown, but look at this, has a grandchild in college that she wants to help. She's only spending $2,500 a month. And of that, $1,800 a month from social security. Also, she's already got some savings, and this is what I see a lot of time. Again, in the second half of life, people start spending less and less money, but I told her, I said, hey, what if we started this money and started sending you some mailbox money now for the rest of your life? And she's like, well, what would I do with all that money, Tony? And this is where we could parlay some of this money down to the grandchildren now, whether they need it or not. 
I think they should really be considered to get this because there are some tax issues on that 300,000 when this person dies, they're gonna come forth. I call it the tax tumor. So why not pay the taxes now? We know the taxes are low and give that money now to kids and grandkids tax free and you'll never run out of money. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.